Hi, so coming into the sort of second year doing this and changing things up a little bit. You can see on the shotgun, we're now running the UBR stock, changing out from the CTR. And uh, having woken up this morning with this covered in frost, definitely gonna be looking at armor coating this right away here. But uh, the other nice change, the Tavor has finally got a full length top rail. This one comes courtesy of Canada Ammo and it's been a little bit of a fight. We're still waiting on a front section here to actually stabilize it against the front sight, but the rail itself seems to be in place. Now, the nice thing about that is it lets us put the uh, Viper down way lower. You'll recall in the past I had it on an ADM mount with a three inch offset to get it off of that main section of the singular Tavor rail. With a full length rail, I can put it down at a low height using their precision rings and bring it up to the right distance for me. So we're gonna try that out today. Also, we finally started getting into the uh, 10 round LAR mags. They're small, but it's nice to have something with a reasonable capacity to it. So you'll notice that we've also changed out the camo. Um, which isn't to say there won't be a place for Sitka, but with uh, multicam being so sexy right now and so popular, figured we'll give it a shot. It seems to fit well for Southern Alberta, that's for sure. So we are still shooting off ruck using the Everly stock, um, but we're going to add some little more interesting things to it. Some of them small, Kestrel wind meter. So hopefully we'll start actually using that windage on the uh, PST. Uh, IR illuminator, well, strobe. So this is specifically for night vision stuff, which brings me on to the next, which is kind of cool. A little bit larger, FLIR. So this is their Scout. We're going to have couple of different night vision options that we're going to try out. We're going to try some Gen 2 stuff, we're going to try some thermal stuff, we're going to see what's more useful out of the range when it starts to get dark. There's a lot of fun things that we can do with this, but uh, there'll be a whole section on that later on. So I think I've got some pretty cool stuff to play with, and I'm hoping that some of it will be interesting to you too. We are going to try out the zombie rounds now that we're back a little further. 